Hello, my name is uh, Jing Guori. I'm principal research officer, team lead of Botanics, and the uh, project lead of a national challenging program, HTSA, at the advanced electronics in the Botanics Research Center of National Research Council of Canada in Ottawa. I was studying at the Sui Yixian University of China in Guangzhou on 9 November 1989 when the Berlin Wall fell. When I was a child, I want to be a scientist. Yes, I think my dream is become true. COVID have a strong on economic and the society will be direct, depend on the reliable and the fast network. We will be able to partake in this ceremony without it. But it should also remind us that not everyone has access to high bandwidth. In Canada, rural and remote region have much lower bandwidth than big city. The difference between developer and the developing country also have their potential. We are developing technology that significantly boosts the bandwidth of common fiber in the 5G network and the satellite communication as well. Historically, fiber optic network need hundreds of individual semiconductor laser to carry data. Those laser consume a lot of power contributing to even growth power demand on the system. Laser are also very heated sensitive. They offer the power fluctuate with temperature. A promising solution to this issue is quantum dot lasers. Quantum dot are tiny nanocrystal made of a semiconductor material with enough dots, millions, and billions. A laser will emit it at a multiple reference. Use less space and the power, while output output power remains steady regardless of temperature. The NRC pioneered the quantum dot laser technology that offer significantly more bandwidth at a lower cost and with less power consumption than state of art. The technology has potential to boost the networking backbone of fiber communication but are also critically improve fixed wireless access for rural community and the optical satellite communication for truly remote. Yeah, recently we have a demonstrated a single quantum dot laser can trans transmit more than 12 terabit per second of data. The equivalent of a streaming 15.6 million high resolution movies. The active material for which the laser are based on the incorporated tiny nanocrystal that allows simultaneous emission as many as 100 wavelengths, so that each channel can transport information independently use a coherence multiplexing screen. The technology has have reduced power need of data center in the coherence optical network in the now adapted to millimeter wave generation for 5G and the beyond wireless network in the satellite communication. Our society and the economic depend heavily on the reliable high bandwidth digital communication these days. However, there are large gap in access between develop in the developing country in the between urban and the rural and remote community. All research has a potential to reduce this uh, digital divide by solving global issue of uh, accessibility, speed, and the cost. Right now, this high speed, low power, temperature, stable quantum dot laser has caught the attention of a global technology giants they see big value of uh, integrated within the system to reduce cost, power consumption, and the size. I often think about how my future research work will be focused on the integrating quantum dot laser with other photonic components to make photonic integrated circuits. This is the equivalent of uh, electronics in 15th 
In the 16th, we are vacuum tube in the discrete components. We are replaced by integrated surplus, making everything much smaller, powerful, and the energy efficient. My kids are excited to see this technology become part of their everyday life one day. <laughs>